Starting a couple of years ago, we sat down with City of Woodbury staff to look at potential sites for larger water quality projects. So we're looking for bigger projects to get us the treatment we need for stormwater draining to our lakes. We identified this as a potential location for some extra treatment in a bigger facility. This particular part of Seasons Park is where a lot of stormwater kind of funnels through. The water comes across from underneath Radio Drive from the Evergreen Wetland and it goes into this pond behind me. Then it will, once the filter is constructed, a little bit will be diverted over to the filter basin itself while a majority of it will continue on into the creek. The water will flow through the filter basin and then re-enter the creek and then the creek goes downstream into Wilmes Lake. Then it goes downstream into the next lake and the next lake throughout the city. This stormwater filter will target phosphorus specifically. Phosphorus is our biggest pollutant for our lakes. So that's what's driving a lot of the green algae that people see and the excess vegetation growth. So projects like this remove a lot of that phosphorus in the stormwater and over time will improve our lakes. The city works on stormwater management in a lot of different ways. We maintain and manage a lot of ponds along with kind of rain gardens, dry basins that are just plants, but they take water and they infiltrate or filter it down into the ground, cleaning it up before it moves on downstream or eventually to our groundwater. So that's the city's goal is to provide clean water throughout. This was presented to the Parks and Natural Resource Commission in July. They approved it. The filter is located on the west side of Seasons Park, so along the trail corridor. After the basin is constructed, we're going to have a permanent sign that tells people walking by what it is and what it's doing. I also encourage residents to do their part on their property, so cleaning up leaves and grass clippings before they enter the road, and then our storm drain system, preventing that phosphorus from entering our system and going going downstream and impacting our lakes and wetlands.